But it's amazing when you uh, when you take a look at how am I using the body, how often you can find a, a place where there could be a group. Because, and this is true for instrumentalists as well, the, the flautists or the violinists or the cellists, any instrumentalist has a similar problem. Somehow the brain makes the decision that these finger movements are very complicated and they, they must, they require great precision or else I'll play the wrong note. E vabbè, in qualche modo il cervello pensa che muovere in questi modi eh, richiede grande precisione e grande concentrazione perché altrimenti si sbaglia. And therefore I will stabilize my body to help the fingers be accurate. Quindi bisogna rendere il proprio corpo più stabile per eh, aiutare le dita. You see it all the time. Si vede un po' sempre. The body is nice and erect. Il corpo è dalla dritta. And it's stable. Ed è stabile. And therefore I can play with great accuracy. E quindi posso suonare in modo molto accurato. And the flautist is the same, that they can play with great accuracy, the violinist is the same. Il flauto e il violino è comunque la stessa cosa. But we stabilize so much that the shoulder girdle becomes quite solid. E però ci um, stabilizziamo diciamo così tanto che eh, tutta la parte delle spalle diventa un blocco solido. And then you remember I was speaking this morning about this tension and relaxation and tension and relaxation, this oscillation between one extreme and the other. E stamattina stavo parlando di, uh, dell'oscillazione tra l'essere troppo rilassati e troppo rigidi. So when the shoulder girdle is just a little bit too solid, now already my sound is being produced from tension. Quindi eh, con le spalle rigide eh, già il suono e viene, eh, è reso appunto, proviene da una posizione rigida. So if everything is loose in my body, the fingers can just move. Quindi uh, se tutto il mio corpo è sciolto, allora le dita possono muoversi. But if there's anything is held in the body, the fingers move with greater difficulty. Ma se c'è qualcosa nel corpo che um, è rigido, allora le dita si muovono con più difficoltà. It's the difference between this held sound and the free sound. Do you hear the difference? It's even as if I held, held my mouth. I held my mouth and I'm going to talk to you like this. Hold your mouth and talk to you. Or else you just let your mouth go and then it sounds much better. <laughs> So, um, um, so now we're going to do a little bit of awareness through movement, but yeah, it's a Feldenkrais lesson, but it's designed to help you 
feel? Is my shoulder girdle moving or is it stuck? Eh, adesso si farà un attimo di uh, lezione di consapevolezza attraverso il movimento e per vedere se le spalle sono rilass rilassate oppure uh, rigide. Yeah, so the first thing we're going to do is, is just, uh, just take your, put your hand in front of your face like this. Put your hand here in front of you. Wiggle, wiggle the fingers. Wiggle the fingers. And notice, notice how fast they're wiggling. Okay. And then start to do this. Do they wiggle faster or slower when the arm is moving? Si muovono più velocemente o più lentamente quando il braccio si muove. Then stop again. Then go again. Stop again. Can you feel the difference? You actually feel it in your own hands. Si può sentire la differenza? So that's proof. So we don't realize that we think that the finger muscles move the fingers. E non non capiamo insomma perché pensiamo che i muscoli delle dita muovano solo le dita. And we don't realize. No, the muscles that move the fingers are all the way back into the body. E non capiamo appunto che i muscoli che muovono le dita possono risalire fino in cima al corpo. So you remember this morning we put uh, we put one finger on the knee, right? We put one finger on the knee like that. So do that again. E questa mattina abbiamo fatto un esercizio con le dita da mettere sopra. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Go back, go back, go like you were. Okay. Okay. Now just uh, attend to your own awareness. How alert do you feel? How awake do you e feel now? Quanto svegli vi sentite adesso? And come out here. Now do you feel more or less awake or just the same? Adesso vi sentite più svegli o meno svegli o uguale? You feel more awake, right? Because uh, when you lean against the back, all the back muscles go to sleep. Quando ci si sdraia contro lo schienale, allora tutti i muscoli della schiena si addormentano. But the back muscles are controlled by the brain, so that means the brain went more to sleep. Quindi, uh, cioè, siccome che uh, i muscoli della schiena sono controllati dal cervello, vuol dire che anche un po' il cervello è andato a dormire. Uh, so now that you're sitting up like this, with your heels on the floor, please. Uh, the, the back muscles have to tense, they have to, if the back muscle didn't tend to do it, so the back muscles are contracting. Quindi adesso anche i muscoli della schiena, eh, con i talloni ovviamente sul pavimento, sono un po' costretti a svegliarsi, a contrarsi. But if they contract too much, I'm going to fall backwards, so now the, the flexors in front are contracting. Ah. E quindi, però se si contraggono troppo, cadiamo indietro, and ma contrae, cioè, stringendo anche i muscoli davanti, allora si torna su. But if the flexors go too much, try it, and you go like this, and so the extensors have to go like this. Quindi, quelli che si flettono troppo vanno troppo avanti, e quindi quelli che si stendono si devono... So all the time there's this play between the flexors and the extensors. C'è un... Un equilibrio tra i muscoli che si flettono e i muscoli che si stendono davanti. E quando appunto sono, stanno bene in equilibrio, allora è facile stare qui. But the muscles are engaged in a dynamic act of sitting. E i muscoli sono coinvolti in un atto dinamico di sedersi. And that makes you more awake. E questo ci rende più svegli. Yeah. So, uh, now, put, the, put, one, put your hand like in a bird beak like this on your knee. In un becco da uccello sul ginocchio. And with your other hand you feel behind the elbow, here, behind the elbow. And con l'altra mano per fare il piede. I know the best way. Yeah. And now, uh, now, press, press into your knee, like, don't hit it, just press, e schiacciare and stop pressing, and press, and stop pressing, and press, and stop pressing. Do you feel this muscle here? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's called the triceps muscle. Yeah, and it's it working, and it stops working. So already the triceps is moving the fingers. Yeah. Now, put the hand underneath the armpit. 
I hope you all had a shower this morning. And, and do a little bit like this, like, like, uh, like that. Try and just, I'll show you. What, and feel what's happening in the arm. And now, if you can feel, if you can't feel behind, and now again, press. If you can't feel behind and you feel your, your neighbor, you do your, your friend's shoulder blade right here, the shoulder blade. Yes, la scapula. Yeah, and you feel when you press, 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 the shoulder blade muscle right in here is contracting. So now, move your scapula as you press your hand into your knee. I'm moving my scapula. Move the scapula to press the finger into the knee. Uh, 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 your, your arm is breaking. Look, your arm is going, it's kind of breaking. You see, your arm, this arm here, it's, it's, it has to, the bones have to line up so that the, the, the kinetic energy goes through the bones. Uh, like that. You see, when it goes through the bones, now don't miss your knee, you're doing this. So look, your kinetic energy, you see her? Her kinetic energy is going into empty space. There's lots of energy, but it's going nowhere. So I, I, I wanted to go down through the finger into the knee. Yeah, you feel that? Oh, not now did you feel in your shoulder blade? It's much more you can feel the muscles, correct? Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, put your knee, your finger out here more. Uh, or farther away. Like. Yeah, yeah. Not here, but here. That's right. And now you can straighten your arm back. Ah, you feel it better? I can see it from here. That your, your arm is engaged. Uh, uh, and you can also do it with a flat hand. Look. That's right. That's it. Now straighten your elbow more. Straighten your elbow more. That's it. That's it. Yeah, Eduardo, straighten your elbow more. Straighten the elbow. That's right. You'll feel it better. Maybe you could use your the other one. That's right. It's going to be better for you. Great. Oh, very good. Very good. Yeah, don't lean forward too far. It's, it's not this. Because you see now all the angles are broken. In quel modo tutti gli angoli sono rotti. Yeah, the, the and lean sit up one. And then like that. That's it. Good. There you go, that's it. Okay, stop. Let your arms still hang. Let your two arms hang. Your two arms feel different. The arm that was pushing and the arm that was feeling. You see, Maria, she's, she's nodding her head, but I paid her to nod her head. Maria sta nodendo, però la pagata lei. That's right. But did you guys feel it? Sometimes. So you don't feel the difference. Like, what's he talking about the difference? Certe volte non si sente la differenza. Yeah. Because some, uh, when I started Feldenkrais, the teacher said, feel the difference. And I go, what difference? So, but it sometimes it takes time to feel, but maybe this arm feels a little longer or a little... Certe volte c'è bisogno di tempo eh, per appunto sentire la differenza, sentire che magari il braccio sembra più lungo o più valido. Okay. Same arm, same hand, uh, and now find a place for each of the five fingers on the key, but not so much together, more on your knee, but more kind of apart like that. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna show you like this, but don't you don't have to undo your shirt. <laughs> uh, you, you're gonna put the the thumb on the clavicle near the center. 
Yeah, and then the second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, like this, all on the clavicle. So five is near the shoulder, thumb is near the center. Yeah. Okay? And now, press your knee with your thumb. And then press your knee with your fist. Okay, press your knee with your thumb. Do you feel anything in the muscles of the collarbone? Sentite niente nei muscoli della della caviglia. Do you feel it? Sometimes it's hard to feel. You have to press it or move the thumb around somewhere. But and then try pressing the fifth finger. E dopo provate a premere il quinto dito. And notice, do you feel in a different part of your collarbone? The muscles more towards the shoulder. Più più sentite che sono i muscoli più verso la spalla che si protraggono. Yeah, and then if you press with the third finger on the knee, you feel more in the middle of the collarbone. E se invece si usa il dito medio, si sente più verso appunto il centro della caviglia. So you change the finger that's pressing, like you play a scala on your knee, and you. Si cambia il dito che si schiaccia sul ginocchio come se si stesse suonando una scala. And you feel all the different muscles all along here. It changes for each finger where you feel along the collar. Yeah? Some people like to feel like that, but then it's weird because the fist finger is where the thumb is and the thumb is where the fist finger is. Alcune persone preferiscono far quel come sta mostrando lui, però è strano perché dopo non corrispondono le dita. Some people like to place the entire palm of the hand on the collarbone. So anything you can do to feel all the muscles along the collarbone working as the hand plays the hand okay. on your knee. We, the best is best that everybody has a piano, but we, we don't have ten pianos. Take a rest. Notice again whether your arms feel different. And of course, I, I, I forgot, I left out the most important part. <laughs> yeah, you tell them that. <laughs> I forgot, I left them out the most important part. Ah, I think I've got important. Okay, so where does your arm end? Where is the end of your arm? Where? Well, some people say it's here. Right? No, not that end. The other end. Where does he? Where does your arm attach to your body? Not here. Dove the other che, end. Dove che fini? Dove che il braccio si attacca al suo corpo? Yeah. Where does your arm attach to the body? Yeah. And normally people say, well, the humerus comes up here, and there's a ball here. And that's where the arm ends. Yeah. E but the gente dice che il l'osso arriva qua, dopo c'è una pallina e si attacca. Yeah, because this is this is the shoulder joint. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this clavicle is a very strange bone because if you look at a skeleton, uh, you're gonna have to sit in that one, yeah. or move the chair. Just stay in that chair, but move it over here. That's right. great. Thank you. So if you're gonna, if you if you look at a skeleton, the scapula is not attached to the rib cage. Sì, sì, guardo lo scheletro, la scapola non è attaccata alle... ai... Ah. The scapula is not attached to the rib cage. Alla scapola... la scapola la attacca. Yeah. The shoulder is not, is not attached to the rib cage. So the end of the arm, the arm attaches to the body. Quindi alla fine del braccio, che è dove il braccio si tratta il corpo. So go along to the, the, the closer and closer to the center of your body and feel where does the collarbone begin, where does the clavicle begin. Dove che inizia la clavicola? That's the only place your arm attaches to your body. Quello è l'unico posto dove il corpo si attacca e al braccio. So now you go to the other one and feel, 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 feel. So the two arms attach this far apart. Quindi eh, le due braccia si attaccano qua. 
people that, oh yeah, the, 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 the arm where the arm meets the body, that's the width of the shoulders. No. It's the width of one thumb joint. <laughs> it's very, the arms are very close together. So yeah, now, yeah. So now, uh, put your hand on that collarbone, same arm. Yeah. And feel what happens when you raise your hand up. Oh, is your collarbone moving? Is your collarbone moving? On the collarbone, not, not on the shoulder, on the clavicle. Yeah, there. So feel the collarbone. Oh, look, I can move my collarbone. Oh. Oh look, I can move my collarbone. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. And move the collarbone in little circles. And so I'm not moving my arm to move my arm. I'm moving my, moving my arm to discover where could my collarbone move. Where could my collarbone move? So of course the most dramatic one is this way, cross body. <laughs> Look, the collarbone gets very far away from the ribs. Il movimento maggiore che può fare la clavicola è spostando il braccio dall'altra parte del corpo. And strangely enough, if you straighten the elbow, it goes farther. Like if you do this, it won't go so far. Ah, quindi con il gomito piegato non va tanto lontano, mentre se si raddrizza dopo si allontana molto di più la clavicola dalla sola. Straight arm goes much farther. Yeah. How about up here? It goes to a funny place. It doesn't go so far away. And again, you can make feel. But I'm doing this not to move my arm. I'm doing this to feel feel where my collarbone is going. Feel where my collarbone is going. Yeah. Okay. Take a break. Let the two arms hang by your sides. Again, feel the difference between the two arms. What's the sensation? And now, just to uh, play a little scale on your knee with the same arm. Da, 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 da. Like this, on your knee. Play it with the other hand. Yeah, that's do, do they, how different do they feel? Yeah. The arm which did all this work to discover its own sensation, and the other arm that just didn't do anything. And now try uh, doing a funny kind of scale. Imagine that the piano goes that way, not this way. So you go bum 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 with your arm. And you do 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 do. And that's to pensare a un piano forte che invece si stende per avanti e non lateralmente. And then you try that one with the other hand, the one that didn't work. And how how well does your body does your body follow this hand? Just as well as the body followed the other. You feel the difference between the right and left sides? What I'm noticing myself is that the, the, the arm that, that did all this work, now my body just kind of follows. Si può notare che il braccio che appunto ha fatto quel lavoro adesso è facilmente seguito dal corpo rispetto all'altro. And with my other hand, I'm just trying it out, and my body hardly follows at all. Like it doesn't. What? What? How? And how am I supposed to follow this thing? Mentre per l'altro braccio il corpo non vuole veramente seguirlo. So you see, with, with all the movements that we did, all the stuff that we did, all the different perceiving of the muscles and perceiving of the, this muscle and that muscle, 
we didn't realize that we were teaching our brain. We were teaching the brain. E non abbiamo, cioè, eh, tutto il lavoro che abbiamo fatto di consapevolezza del, dei muscoli e di come funziona il braccio, eh, non ci siamo resi conto che stavamo, stavamo insegnando al cervello. We were giving the brain a, a new sensory image of the arm. Stavamo dando una nuova eh, immagine sensoriale, diciamo, del braccio. It's like we could go into our own brain and paint a picture of the arm, but now it's a better picture. Come se nel nostro cervello dipingessimo un braccio, e però con quello che abbiamo fatto, adesso l'immagine è migliore. So instead of colors on a canvas, there's sensations in the neurons. Quindi al posto di eh, colori su una tela, eh, abbiamo le sensazioni nei neuroni. Okay, so let's do the other side because I, now you all feel a little bit uh, asymmetrical. So uh, what do we do? Well, let's let's see if we can remember all this stuff. Uh, so we make a bird beak and we and we uh, press touch behind the elbow. And we try it. So we're trying to contract the triceps to press the hand into the knee. Now, remember, is this the same as the other side? Is this the same? Or does it actually feel very different? Why or more to diverso than that program? All pianists are asymmetrical. Tutti i pianisti sono asymmetrici. Because we don't go like this. Like that all day, right? One is going. We're always doing different stuff. So of course we're going to be in asymmetrical. Try the first side again. Go back to the first side. Uh, yeah, I, I mean. The wonderful thing about teaching these lessons is, is that I do them myself, and every time I teach them, I learn something new about myself. Ogni volta che fa queste lezioni, impara qualcosa di nuovo su se stesso. Like for me, I don't know. My right, my right triceps works a lot better than my left triceps. I don't know why. E per lui il principio destro funziona molto meglio di quello sinistro. So how is it for you? And how about the, the, the uh, oh, everybody's doing the left now, okay. We're doing, you were, you were all doing mirror images, good, okay. So your left, how is your left armpit, is it? Does it, does it, is it clear to feel that pressing, 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 and the, the contractions in the front part of the armpit, and the contractions in the back part of the armpit? Um, si sentono le contrazioni nel muscolo della parte davanti del cervello quello dietro. Hey, what if we go down the rib cage, not even near the armpit, but more like on the side of the ribs? You see where I am? E se invece fare sul lato della. So now, if you press there, press your hand with your press your left hand into your knee with the right hand on the middle ribs. Can you feel a contraction? Adesso là si sente una contrazione. Oh my goodness, let's try different parts of the rib. Let's try over here, this part of the rib cage. Or more in front. Oh my goodness, the, rib, the lower ribs right here, the floating ribs. Yeah, the free ones, they're floating. They're not attached to the sternum. They're not attached to the breath pump. So, oh my God, you press in there and you, can you feel these? There's muscular activity way down here. So, I press the keyboard and there's muscular activity all through my rib cage. Fino alla parte bassa della 
And you get your scapula from below. Si, so, la scapula da dentro, sotto. I got very long arms, so I can. Some people can't do it. Oh, and then pr try pressing, 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 pressing. Yeah, and then feel what you can feel, and then try the upper part of the scapula. So, so find, scapula. find the edge of the scapula. Can you actually feel the edge? Si riuscite a sentire il bordo della scapola? Il bordo della scapola. And then, oh, 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 feel the muscle. <laughs> I have, I have muscles here which are way more tense on the right side. <laughs> I don't like teaching this part. <laughs> I don't. I don't like discovering that my muscles are so tense. <laughs> Actually, these muscles are tense because of an injury that I have. So it's not just it's not from bad technique. And now what do we do here? Remember we, we try to move the shoulder blade forward while we're pressing on the hand. And feel that shoulder blade, the edge of the shoulder blade actually changing its relationship to the ribs. Sliding, sliding, you see, this, you slide the scapula. Shivola sulla schiena. Yeah, but look, if the scapula is sliding, then it's not attached, is it? It's free. E se scivola vuol dire che non è attaccata, è libera. Okay, and now slide the palm like this on the, on the leg. E adesso fa scivolare il palm della mano sulla gamba. And now, try to move the scapula as far as you can. In any direction, by sliding, that's it. Even go down your leg like that. And slide back this way and slide the hand up towards the hip joint. And slide the hand down, all the way down the leg, almost to the foot. And feel, oh, where's my scapula going? Great. And finally, put the hand here on the collarbone and do the same. And especially, you see, when you slide the hand back towards the hip joint, feel the collarbone going, feel the collarbone going, collarbone, collarbone. Hmm. That's right. Okay. Take a break. Which arm is longer now? <laughs> I, I can see that the arms are longer. <laughs> it's amazing. I feel like my arm is, my hands are going to touch the floor in a second. <laughs> I feel like a monkey. You know, monkeys walk and, they're, and they're, 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 their hands drag along the floor. Like yeah. and what other differences can you feel between the left arm and the right arm? Yeah, that's right. Did the did the the way did they change? Like sometimes our hands hang like this, palms forward or palms towards the body or palms towards the back. Did your hands change the way they're hanging? Like more towards the back or more towards the body? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now the five fingers, the five right fingers on the left collarbone, and the five left fingers on the left knee, or maybe the right knee if you like, I don't care. And let's press the thumb, press the thumb, and feel here on the collarbone where there's the muscular activity. That's right. And then maybe press the fifth finger and feel where on the clavicle. Yeah, that's uh, clavicula. Did I say scapula? No, I said clavicula. No, it was I my mistake. No, I thought it was my mistake. Uh, <laughs> okay. That's where the mignolo and feel where it was going to start. 
That's right. And then you freely, whichever you press with this finger or the fourth or the third, but always trying to feel mm, where on my scapula, in my, you see it was my mistake, where on my clavicle is the muscular activity. E adesso per trovare con tutte le dita della mano per sentire un pochino dove sulla scapola e sulla scapola sulla clavicola I infected <laughs> dove sulla clavicola c'è il loro corrispondente. Oh, so just play around with it and try different fingers and try to feel all this muscular activity all along the scapula. Ah! Oh, yeah. It's weird. <laughs> collarbone, collarbone, clavicle, clavicle. I have to, or you will say it again. It's getting worse. Clavicle, clavicle. Keybone. Clavicle is clavier, clavicle. It's all connected. The key, the keybone. Take a break, let your arms hang like this. Again, test the differences. Try to sense, is your sensation getting any better? La vostra consapevolezza del corpo sta migliorando? Are you really bored? Siete particolarmente annoiati? Or is it kind of interesting? Oppure interessante? Yeah. So, if you really tune into sensation, it tends to get more interesting. Se cercate di concentrarvi molto sulla sensazione, allora può aumentare. Because many of us, we, we don't know. Perché? Mm. Really? Yeah. Ah, perché molti non si rendono conto. We think the arm ends here, and then the, the clavicle doesn't move. Perché si pensa eh, che il braccio finisca alla spalla e che la clavicola non si